Narrow passage. What is that? Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. Move it! Damn it! Locate the power node. Fuck, can they go up here? Guess not. Uh, is that it? Uh, guess that would be it. This is it, people. I have a flamethrower, guys. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna cloak over there. Or a garrison should have my back. Guys, I'm using it. Fuck, I died. <laughs> Garrus did not have my back. He was not my bro. This is it, people. I keep telling you every time, it's 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 always Garrus and shit trying to fucking not Garrus, sorry. I don't even know why I'm blaming Garrus. It's not Garrus' fault. Gar Garrus Garrus did nothing wrong. Nice job, Javik. You were a warrior in your age, right? How did you just get flanked? Okay, did he just do like a micro dodge? I thought thing was moving. Okay, please, Jack. I'm trying to get past. Oh god, another flamethrower. Come on, we gotta get past these barriers. Let's get to the other side. More of those power nodes. <laughs> Did I just go into the first floor? Dude, I, I love how I like float into. Oh shit! How is that even cover? Fuck. Get the same plan. Oh god! I want out. <laughs> Thank god for Tactical Cloak. Alright, that was a close one. I'm not picking that up. Fuck that shit. The enemy is as relentless as they were in our cycle. My clan does not use uh, flamethrowers. Fuck. I wonder how good my grenade throwing skills are. Not very good. Oh, I. I may have hit the grenade. What the fuck kind of flanking is this? Alright, well... Alright, let's go to my trusty sidearm. The first time I'm probably ever going to use it. At least Javik survived.
Oh, that's not the button I want to use. What am I getting hit by? Why are my shields going down? Ah, uh, fuck. He turned glowy. That can't be good. did this to you? can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. Here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. <laughs> Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here, or that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our lack company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! My turn. 
Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Better you didn't risk it. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Knew you could get it done, Shepard. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Ragni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. So that one's kind of an interesting one, because um, I know what happens with that one. Um, if you kill the Ragnar Queen in Mass Effect 1, it turns into something called like a breeder or something. It's like synthetic or something, and uh, it says it'll help you all in the same way, but it actually betrays you in the War Terminal. Uh, right now, it, it says here, yeah, we get 200. It's actually 100 normally from this. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I think you get some extra support from something else. Um, I should, probably should look at this one, once in a while. There's Grunt. Grunt is a war asset. Ah, oh, this is the one. Archilock Company, where the fuck? So you, you get this one too, which is worth like, usually 25 or something, I don't know what it's worth. So, yeah, uh, it's kind of interesting. So, so you have to kill her if you didn't save her in the other Mass Effect, but... Uh, if you did save her, then yeah, by all means, you can do it. She won't betray you. Yes, Commander. I guess he has That's nothing. All. Of course, Commander. Uh, uh, that was kind of neat. Need something, Shepard? I guess nothing about Grunt. That's it for now, Rex. Anytime. That's kind of neat. All works out. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Well, it's lab side reacting long distance communication with no time lag ability to control workers. I don't know why she's not saying and this. And at close range, the queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Commander? Uh, Lyra wants me to come down there. Alright. For a project, finger quotes. Wonder what kind of project that could be. 
Old banging glyph. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... Well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. But she didn't ask a question about human nature. What the fuck? Alright. Well, we can definitely go do our rounds in the ship. Particularly, uh... Talk to Liara. Man, I have never used that pistol, but then again, I don't really care. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvak. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Oh, nothing here. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? I want to show you something I've been working on. Let me know if we can meet in your cabin, Shepard. I guess we're just gonna go to the cabin in a second. Uh, private messages terminal can suck it. I haven't had time to talk to Grunt, but I assume he's in the med bay. Oh, hey. Uh, Garrus is missing. You know, I kinda like the... the mingling with the crew in this one, actually. Kinda look forward to it, except, except with James. Fuck that guy. Shepard, Eve ready for travel. Nice time. We'll be here, continuing to study Shroud. Where did, uh... Where did Grunt go? Or is he even here? Those are the questions I need to ask myself. More like, where's Garrus right now? Commander. Well, I just like how Chuck was just... It, it, the med bay just isn't hers. You can actually see the you can actually see the the doors disappear into the walls. I just realized that. Oh, uh, well, Garrus certainly isn't here. No, open the door. Oh, he's Garrus in the shower. Oh. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnar. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnar Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? 
I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Maybe later. Alright, he's just talking with the random ensign. He's not necessarily just doing calibrations all the time anymore. Alright. Invite Liara. Ooh. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Shepard was also a deadly tactical fighter. Most enemies never saw him coming. While I didn't always agree with his decisions, I still respected them. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Oh, we got new arm pads or something. Unfortunately, it doesn't really tell me here. Uh, this is headshot now. This is the better one. This stuff sucks because I I can't tell when I have something new. Finally, something to criticize the game for. Game shit. Don't buy it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> fuck. Uh, fuck. Let me through game shit. Don't buy. It. Oh, that's good. Easy drink. Uh, fuck it out. Oh, what? You're not talking to Liara this time. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. 
but our scientists were more interested in their biology. The rachni were well suited to harsh conditions, so we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I would prefer to be alone. I would 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 prefer to be alone. Alright. Oh, if he's not here. Where is he then? I mean I don't think he'd be down here as we're jackless. Yeah, no. Fuck, is he really down on the bottom floor? Cause if he's on the ship I actually do want to talk to him. I mean, a good way to tell if he's on the ship is if I, uh, uh, kind of... Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. God, I came down here one time and I'm already annoyed. Fuck. And also, he's not here. Where the fuck is Grunt? It's the only person I care about. Well, besides myself, but, you know. Uh, Cerberus armor. Aquarium 4? Free to leaving you free to enjoy your aquatic friends without fear of killing them. That is definitely worth the money. Um, ah, here we go. Yeah, we still got a little ways to go with this. A little ways of going. There's nothing I truly need right now, so we'll just kind of leave it be. Well, let me go up here, right? <clears throat> and we, um, let me uh, go to squad selection. <clears throat> so he doesn't appear here anymore. I guess he's just not here. We don't, we don't say we don't get to tell him what the fuck happened. We don't get to say hello. We just uh, guess went our separate ways. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. See you guys next time. Bye.